Thursday. Thursday, you'll be able to book for Livermore. Um, today, guys, you're going to need a couple of probably medium, medium to heavy weights. Um, I would say it looks to be a pretty good full body day. We're going to start off with a five minute dynamic warm up um, where you will start off on the floor. It is freezing here in Livermore, so I'm going to keep my jacket on for a little while or in whatever studio I'm in, Alamo. Uh, T-spine windmills, guys. So we're hands out to the side, knees are up. We're hinging those hips over side to side, just a little windmill. You can bring the knees all the way down to the floor or just about halfway. We haven't done that one in a while. Then we've got hip rocks. So kick one foot out, pushing your butt back to your heel, extending through your shoulders. Here, we'll do 30 seconds on each side. From there, we're gonna come into that wide mountain climber with rotation. So taking one foot up, hand out, rotate that body towards your front knee, switch to the other side. You can take your time. If you need to drop your back knee, you can. From there, your last two exercises, alternating toy soldiers. So straight legs, getting those hamstrings stretched out, and then we'll get the hips going with that Cossack squat to finish it off. So five minutes here, T-spine windmills. You guys are gonna start down on the floor and uh, we'll get started. Y'all ready? Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. T-spine windmill, belly button pulled in. And let those knees fall side to side here. Halfway. All right, guys, finish up your last rep and then go ahead and flip yourself over. Take that one foot out for that hip rock in three, two, one. So hip rocks here. Yep, keep going. Gotta love when your phone's connected to a different Bluetooth device. <laughs> you guys have about uh, eight seconds left on this side, and then we're going to switch. In three, two, one, go ahead and switch legs on that hip rock, everybody. That belly button drawn in. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. And last one, and then we're gonna go walk the climber So both hands under your shoulders, bring one foot out and up. And then rotate. Yep. Switch legs every time. Rotating your body into that front knee. You are halfway here. Makes me want to give it. We've got 15 seconds, then we're going to stand it up for those toy soldiers. One more. And then stand it up, guys. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Stand it up. Nice and tall. Legs are going to stay straight here. Keep those shoulders back, chest is up and open. Belly button's pulled in. The 
one nice thing about daylight savings is actually light out outside. So those of you working out outside, I can finally see you. It's great. We got 15 seconds here, friends, and then we're going to finish off with that Cossack squat. Three, two, one. Take those feet wide. Shift the weight over. Bring the toe up. Taking that little pause in the middle. Have your hands on your chest, on your hips, or at your chest. Up to you. got 30 more seconds here. Last couple reps, team. In three, two, one, done. All right, this block uh, is one from the past. I, I know we've done this block at some point before. It's 10 minutes of work. We're gonna start off with ground to press. So using those medium medium to heavy weights, you only have, to, you, only, you have 10 reps. Um, so you might be able to go heavier than, than not, just kind of depends on where you're at today. So feet are about hip distance apart. We're gonna go as low as we can to the floor, hammer curl, overhead press. You do not need to go all the way to the floor if your range of motion does not allow as an option squat to hammer curl if you can't go overhead. Once you do 10 of those, you're gonna do five swing lunges on each side. Starting off in the reverse lunge position, you'll swing that foot through to a front lunge, back to a reverse lunge, okay? So swing it through. Your option is to pause in the middle, but your goal is to not stop, all right? Now, if you can make it all the way through on the swing without stopping and you want a little challenge, you can add your weights to it, okay? From there, you'll go bear plank walk out to shoulder tap. So come down to hands and knees, pop up into that bear plank. We're gonna walk out, shoulder tap, and then keeping your butt down, you're gonna walk back to your bear plank, okay? The other way to do it is to walk your feet back and shoulder tap and then walk your feet up to bear plank. Whatever you want to do. It's, I mean, it's either way. Try it both ways. See what's more challenging. Your last exercise, single arm bicycle, the chest press. I like to use both weights, but you can just choose to use one. You're going to press up as you extend out. This is kind of like the dead bug. Switch sides and you can keep it going. And you're going to do five on each arm or a total of 10, but you do want to keep your shoulder blades up on that one. Okay. A lot of work in the block, 10 minutes ground to press is where you start. If you guys, anything else? Let me know. Grab your weights. Here we go in three, two, one, let's do it. You want a little power on that ground to press. Use the legs to fire those weights up. Find your balance on that swing lunge. Forward, backward counts as one. And you're going to do five of those.
Nice job, team. Nice job. Five reps on that plank walkout to shoulder tap. In the video, he's walking his hands out, but you could do both, guys. You could try it one way on one round, other way on the next. Want to keep that belly button in. Nice job, Elise. On that bicycle chest press, if you're only going to use one weight, it's still opposite arm, opposite leg. So as that arm presses up, your leg goes out. You're gonna keep your palm facing in towards the middle of your body and the elbow pretty close to the body. All right, and we are back to ground to press, some of you. Those abs in tight, stay strong through your core. Good job, Sarah. All right, Barbara, here we go. Swing lunge, nice. The sunlight begins to fade now. I feel like I'm losing time, but I don't know how I'm Good stuff, here. everybody. Good stuff. The sunlight has turned to gray, and I feel like I'm losing love again. I don't know how I'm here. I could feel your heart beat. I could feel some way. Nice bear plank, Elise. Guys, get that bear plank down. That booty low, back nice and flat.
All right, guys, going into round three. Ground to press. Remember, team, if you want a little more of a challenge, add your weights to that swing lunge. We have two more minutes here. Two more minutes on this block. Good job, Teresa. You guys have one minute to go. Up the good work, everybody. Last reps, guys. Keep it going, though. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Finish them up, guys. If you got a couple more, you got to get in. Get them in. Okay. And then we're going to move on to block number two. It's a little cardio Tabata style. So it's going to be four minutes of work, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Your two exercises. You're going to be that lateral uh, shuffle, and then you've got power skips. So um, now in the video, they've got, they set two objects out for on one side of the room, the other side of the room. If you just got a designated space, that works. So the concept here is that you are shuffling to the side and then touch down. So three or four shuffles, and then try to tap it down. You do want to stay kind of low on the shuffle. We'll take 10 seconds of rest. Then we've got power skips, okay? You can get a little more aggressive than we would in the warm-up because now you're trying to get your heart rate up with this one. Uh, really, really get your heart rate up with this one. Um, option is just step it out, okay? Keep the arms going. That's gonna help get your heart rate up. So lateral shuffle, object to object, or just whatever your designated space is. We'll get started for 20 seconds here. And uh, let's go. Here we go. In three, two, one, shuffle. On here. Halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Power skips are next. Here we go in three, two, one. Get up, get that knee up as high as you can. And if you're marching, big arms, big knees. 
halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Take a breather. All right, lateral shuffle. Round two in three, two, one. Let's go. Try to get that touchdown, guys. Keep your butt down. Halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Couple deep breaths in, exhale it out. Here we go. Power skips. Three, two, one, let's go. Yes. Halfway. One, rest. Let's, let's get started. Little breather. Back to your lateral shuffle. Round three of four. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. Breath in, power skips. Let's go. Three, two, one. Come on. Let's work. Halfway. Three, two, one. Rest. Take a breather. Power skips in four, three, two, one. Come on. Let's, let's get started. Let's go. This is your last round. Let's, let's get started. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay. We're gonna go for the last 30 seconds here, guys, on these power skips. Finish the block strong in three, two, one. Come on. Nice job. Good finish. Good finish. All right. This is going to be our third and final block today. I might have to start going back in and adding some stuff to these workouts. They've been posting them so late and I'm too lazy to pull the template. So I'm going to have to start not being lazy, I guess. Um, okay. This is a really good block to start. Some of y'all remember this one. This was, uh, well, I prefer this version than the other one, the power jack to front jack versus just the front jack. So power jack to front jack, your medium light to medium weight at your chest, out, up, up, out. That would be how that would be. <laughs> your option here, step it out, push it up. You're going to do 30 of those. So if the weights you've got are too heavy, you could just do body weight, push it up, punch it out. Okay. Then you're going to start the first round through. You're going to work your way off 12 reps, and then you're going to drop two every round. So forearm plank punch. So set your forearm plank. We're going to punch, trying to keep the hips from rocking. Option, drop the knees, punch up, belly button pulled into spine. Now, if you need an option off the, uh, the shoulders there, you could do the heel touch, okay, with the static crunch. From there, we're going to go power sit-ups. So arms and legs are out. We're sitting up onto those sit bones. Option, heels stay down. Try to sit yourself up. That don't work. You've got a crunch, okay? Then your last exercise is gonna be that plank kick through. 
So starting off in a high plank position, we're gonna kick that leg through, balancing on that hand, switch it to the other side. Now your challenge, guys, is to keep the shoulder over the wrist. Couple options. One, you could do a bare plank kick through, which is a shorter range of motion. You could also do a, a just a bare plank Ah, uh, no, I don't know what you want you to do that. Keep your hands on the floor, kick the heel under, the foot under. Um, another option, if you can't be on your hands, is do a bicycle, okay? Because I know a couple of you guys have some shoulder stuff. So bicycles for the last one, heel touches for the first one, but you start with power jack to plank jack. Uh, Y'all ready? Okay, is that 30 total? 30 totals, yes. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. It's a lot, but it, they, it goes pretty quickly. You just got to count every, every up or out is one. So body weight works too. All right, you guys ready? Here we go in three, two, one. We got 10 minutes to finish it off. Let's do it. <laughs> Plank kick through, another option might be just a plank shoulder tap. But you do want to keep it core and a little bit of shoulder work in that in that exercise. Power jack, front jack. Great job on those, everybody. Nice work. to move those hips on that plank punch. Remember, you got 10 reps on this round, 10 reps.
Nice job, Elise. Nice job on those kick throughs. 10 reps. And then you're back to power jacks to front jacks. Here we go, Sarah. Good job, Kristen. Good job, Michelle. Dropping that rep count, guys. Two reps each time. Not on the first exercise. That power jack to front jack always stays at 30. All right, team, we got three minutes to go. You are going to continue to work your way down that rep count. 30 power jacks to front jacks, but everything else drops by two each round. Guys, two minutes. You guys starting that last round, front jack, power jack. You got just over a minute to go. If 
Fight to the finish, guys. Come on, you got it. Couple more. Keep it going, Sarah. Come on, Hannah. Last two reps, guys. In three, two, one. You are done. A lot of work in that last block. Well done, everybody. All right. It's a beautiful day out. We're gonna start off uh, our, our, what is this called? A stretch flexibility block. <laughs> Brain's not firing this morning. Uh, bring an arm across, keep your shoulder down, pull it in. And then you're also gonna bring that ear to the side, the hand that's up, bring that ear to that shoulder. So you're gonna get a nice stretch over the top of the shoulder that you're stretching out here. All right, so again, Livermore is going to open on Saturday. Release the arm, shake it off. Um, there's not going to be any Zoom this weekend. All right. Um, it doesn't mean that Zoom is not over, not yet. And even when we open our studios, uh, Pete and I were talking, I'm going to stay committed to at minimum three days a week doing live Zoom. Um, and then possibly two other days. And then it's always gonna be recorded. So if you can't get to the live time, can't get into class, whatever, wanna stay home and work out, um, you'll have some options there. Um, and then I, I, some of you know, but we re I've recorded, there's, I don't know, probably 100 and 200, 100 and no, 150 recordings on YouTube studio. So you can poach some from from past workouts and do those if you want to stay home um, or don't make it into a in-studio workout. Uh, Hell Week shirts are not here yet. Angela got hers for Livermore and San Ramon. So I think if you're coming to Livermore this weekend, you might be able to pick it up. It, that is if she received all of them. So, and then I'm hoping I get mine today uh, for Danville and Alamo. We will be doing one more order. There are a couple of you guys that came on a little bit late. So there will be another shipment uh, coming uh, at probably end of this month. We're going to uh, place that order, I think, today. Come back up to center, elbows out, open your chest up. And then regarding our other three studios opening, um, we are hiring. We just hired three people yesterday. Um, I doubt it's going to happen next week, but I would think the following week. Um, so that's right in the middle of November. Um, so stay tuned. You're more than welcome to head out to Livermore and work out once we get that open this weekend, but, uh, Danville, Alamo, San Ramon peeps, we're going to have to wait a little, little longer. We just don't have any staff. So, um, thankfully there's a lot of people that need jobs, but then you got to train them feet about distance, hips back, come all the way over. If you can get your hands to the floor. Awesome. Drop your head, neck, relax it, shake it off. And take your take one foot back. So a nice uh, deep runner stretch here. You can drop that knee to the floor. Keeping both hands on the ground. Nice stretch in the hip here. I'm sure you guys are soaking up your sunshine. Before we, I mean, I don't know if we're going to get any bad weather this, this month, but make sure you're getting in that sunshine. It was so warm yesterday. So nice to be outside. Go ahead and switch legs here and get that other side stretched out. And 
of course, if you guys have questions on anything, don't hesitate. The, the studio emails uh, are being monitored, but most of y'all have my email, so you can send it. If you got any questions or concerns about anything, let me know. Um, most of you guys have already been reaching out about various things, which is fine. So let me know if there's anything new that comes up. Take that foot back, push your hips up, little downward dog, get the heels down, nice calf stretch here. Walk your hands back to your toes and then roll yourself up. And bring those hands up overhead. And release. Guys, great job today. Happy Wednesday. Stay away from the news today. Just go live your life. Just enjoy your life. You don't need any of that drama or any of that madness. So uh, have a great day, everybody. Workout's done. Enjoy. Bye. See ya. Becky. Thanks, yes. Becky.